Now, let's connect network flows with an important area of optimization called linear programming. And a linear programming problem has n variables, x1, x2, up to xn. Those should be subscripted. And it's called a linear programming problem when it has the following form. Maximize a linear function of your variable. So c1, c2, up to cn are real constants, positive, negative, or zero. Subject to constraints, all the constraints are of the form, a linear combination of the x's is less equal to bi, with all the variables non-negative. Now here's a simple instance. Maximize 5x1 plus 7x2, subject to these constraints. 14x1 plus 3x2 less equal 42, 5x1 plus 9x2 less than or equal 45, and x1 and x2 greater than or equal to 0. I will bet that many of you solved a problem just like this in high school. Okay. All right, again, I'm going to leave the problem up over there, and I'm going to write on the dot cam over here and hope that everybody can see this OK. All right, what does the solution to that problem look like? The constraints x1 and x2 greater than or equal to 0 mean that you're looking at this quadrant, the first quadrant in the plane. All right, now let's look at the first constraint, 14x1 plus 3x2 less equal 42. What points in the plane satisfy that inequality? Fourteen x one plus three x two less six or forty two. What points in the plane satisfy that? And when you did this in high school, linear inequalities. You take a straight line, you make it equal, one, two, three. And I made it those numbers so they don't find fourteen, one, two, three, four, five, fourteen. So go up here to fourteen, here's three. And take this line. All right. So the points which satisfy that inequality are the points on that line and the one side. Which side? Low side or high side? Low side. So you're down to this triangular region like this. All right. Now what points satisfy the other inequality? 5x1 plus 9x2 less equal to 45. Again, it's a straight line, so you go out here to 9, and you go up here to 5, and you take this straight line, and then inequality is satisfied by the points on the line and to one side, either the low side or the high side. Which side? The low side? Okay, so the set of points which satisfy the inequalities are these points. There are infinitely many points, but we're talking about the function 5x1 plus 7x2. And if you take a line with that slope and slide it through this region, it will reach its maximum right there. By the way, will that point have integer values? Who said probably not? Yeah. Clairvoyant. If they do, then it is an incredibly lucky feat. In general, when you ask a question, where do two lines intersect, if the lines have integer coordinates, in general, the point of intersection can be expressed in, as using fractions, rational numbers, but not integers.